Hello, and welcome to Mac News for Monday, April the 19th. Here are a list of the items we're going to cover today in the news update. As always, please make sure to share with all of your families in your scouting unit, as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Scouting at home this week, we have two classes. Check out the description below for the link to the classes to register. Make sure to share those with your families as well. Also, there's a link to the uh, survey that we're asking for you to fill out. Please make sure to respond so that we can provide scouting at home in a way that you see fit in the future. Thank you for participating in Scouting for Food. You made last weekend possible by getting out and ensuring that we picked up food across our 58 counties. I can tell you that some of the trucks here in the metro area were full at the Target stores, as well as a number of food pantries locally had their shelves filled because of Scouting for Food. Thanks for participating. If you haven't sent us your count on the food items or the count of the volunteers that you had collecting food, please make sure to do so through the link below so that we can tally all of that and share that with you in the future. Thanks for participating in Scouting for Food. Quick camp update for you. Thanks to all the units that came out on Saturday and helped after Scouting for Food. Much appreciated. If you would like to come camping on the weekend of May the 15th, we would love to have you come camp at Cedars for free in return for some service hours on Saturday, helping get camp ready. Check out the description below and register for that work weekend. Also in the description below are a number of staff that we need to hire for camp in order to give the kids the best experience possible. If you're interested, make sure to apply through mac-bsa.org. We have a number of highlights that we love to do here in the Mid-America Council. Number one is this is volunteer month month of April. We have a couple more weeks that we'd really like to highlight some unit leaders and some great volunteers at the unit level. Fill out the form that's in the description below so we can highlight those volunteers, as well as don't forget the Eagle Scouts in your unit. We want to highlight the Eagle Scouts as well from this past program year, as well as if you have a senior scout. Don't forget to fill all these highlights out. We'll be running them through the end of May, so don't miss out. Check the description below. There has been a flurry of outdoor activities over the last several weeks, and I know with springtime here, we are excited about being in the outdoors. I personally picked up a sleeping bag for one of my children last weekend from the Durham Scout Center from the Gosh Track Scout Shop in order for her to go camping this past weekend. She stayed nice and warm. Don't forget the Durham Scout Center Scout Shop, is Gosh Track Scout Shop, as well as the Sioux City Scout Shop have tremendous savings on camping gear running all the way through the end of May. Thorlo socks are coming up. Buy one, get one free. Don't miss out on the gear you need to be in the great outdoors from one of our local scout shops. Quick calendar update. May the 8th, circle that date. If your son or daughter has uh, won in a Pinewood Derby race at the district or at your pack, or you've never been able to run, you want your child to run in the Pinewood Derby, May 8th is your day. It is a virtual event held from live here at the Durham Scout Center. So check out the description below, get registered. Make sure to include return postage if you mail your car in to the Durham Scout Center. Look forward to all those races on May the 8th. In closing today, I wanna to highlight two units and then thank a whole list of units here at the end as we scroll through on Scouting for Food. Troop 149 and Troop 474, thanks for tagging us in your photos of your great campouts this past weekend. There are a number of other units that are doing the same. We're going to highlight them here as we roll here on Scouting for Food. As always, thanks so much for what you do to make scouting happen in your local communities. Tag us in your pictures so that we know what's going on in your unit, in your local town or community, and we'll see you along the scouting trail.